I know it's been a while, but Mr. Movie X Kicks is here to break down the review of Bohemian Rhapsody right after this. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody stars Rami Malek as the legendary singer Freddie Mercury. The movie basically starts in 1970 where a baggage handler by the name of Farouk Balsari goes to see his favorite rock band smile at a local pub. After the band's performance, he, he approaches them and says he would love to be their new lead singer and he also writes and he loves with love for the band. It comes at a great opportune time because their lead singer just happens to quit. He approaches uh, Brian May, the drummer, and Ryan Tyler, um, the guitarist, um, and they soon, after and after their next show, they soon become the rock band Queen. Uh, after their first couple shows, um, Farouk actually changed his name legally to Freddie Mercury, and at, the, and at that same night when they first met, he actually ends up meeting one of the love of his life, uh, Mary Austin, played by Lucy Boyton. Um, the group would then uh, soon sign with uh, EMI Records, and they would uh, and they would go on to have great success in the UK and do a couple American legs of their tour. In 1975, they came out with their fourth album, which is their biggest album to date, called Night at the Opera. This was a controversial album because it it would also include this the hit song. Bohemian Rhapsody, which is the name of the Bohemian Rhapsody, was controversial because it was a six minute song, mostly in the 70s. Um, most songs were about three minutes on the radio. So the record label EMI, which is funny, the playing EMI uh, record label uh, exec was Michael Myers. I uh, loved him as almost bring back like a fat bastard character, but he refused to play uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Freddie Mercury thought that it was a great successful hit and they end up leaving uh, EMI Records and they end up getting their song played on the radio and it become and it became their it became their biggest hit to date which ended up bringing their first world tour uh, at the end of their first world tour um, Freddie actually, actually end up breaking up with Mary because he started questioning his he started questioning his sexuality and he actually end up starting dating men so and this also kind of brought a, a really interesting perspective that I liked about the movie which it dove uh, Freddie Mercury wasn't the first openly um, gay uh, singer at the time it was in the 70s so you know you already had uh, Elton John you already had Little Richard but he was more of the almost poster boy for sexuality um, at the time um, Later on, the group would end up disbanding as Freddie would go his to do two solo albums and he would move to Germany where he would have um, quote unquote drug orgies and he would actually end up catching the AIDS virus in the 80s and the group came back together um, to do one of the largest concerts in history at, La at um, World AIDS Fest. Um, Freddie Mercury actually ended up dying in 1991 of AIDS but the movie to me was awesome like I really wasn't uh I really didn't know much about Queen I really didn't know anything about Queen uh their songs once I heard them I'm like oh my god Queen sung that I mean you know because I'm I'm not old but I'm not young but I wasn't born in the 70s so I wasn't around that time era but Bohemian Rhapsody, I didn't know that was the intro that if you guys might remember Suicide Squad, if you remember the, um, the theme song they played in the trailer, that was Bohemian Rhapsody. I didn't know that. that dun, dun, dun. Another one bites the dust. I didn't know that was Queen. So in the We Will Rock You, I mean, I was like, dang, they sung all these songs. And, and I have to give Remy Malik as as um, Freddie Mercury was an amazing performance. Um, I don't think he'll get an Oscar nomination, but he should, uh, just because I thought it was just hands down a, a great performance, you know. And and um, I, I loved how how they focused on how Freddie Mercury had all this money and fame, but at the end he was still lonely. 
um, after, especially when the group actually disbanded, he had moved his former lover, Marion, right next door, which was kind of odd. He bought her house, and you know, he would always want her to be with him, even though he was with other men. So I, I thought it was an interesting perspective to get inside the life of a famed rock star, you know, and, and he did die in 1991 of, of AIDS. So I, it, it, it was, you know, um, kind of really a cautionary tale, you know, of, of safe sex. <laughs> but uh, I have to say, a great movie. I, I love this movie. Um, but please tell me, guys, what you guys think? Did you guys see any of the Bohemian Rhapsody movie? What did you guys think of Rami Malek's character portrayal of the late and great Freddie Mercury? Um, please drop me some comments. Um, also, please subscribe. I know it's been a while since I dropped some movies. I mean, since I dropped a couple of reviews, I've been semi-slacking, but I haven't seen any good movies I really want to review. So, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was definitely on my list. I just had to go see it. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a couple other movies next and some shoe reviews. So, as always, please subscribe and drop me a like or a comment. Have you seen the movie? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What? Mr. Movies is out and I'll holler at you guys later.